The amplifier came with quick disconnects. I'm not a fan of quick disconnects. They never seem to be the right size. So I just crimped on some ring terminals and I'll bolt those down. This right here is a passive radiator. A passive radiator is basically a complicated port where the size of the cone is the port opening. So basically we're dealing with a 12 inch port here, which seems like a lot for an eight inch subwoofer, but it is what it is. To tune the passive radiator, you add mass to it. That's the functional equivalent of making a port longer. But okay, how do you add mass to it? That's tricky. Not really, because there is a screw on the back of the passive radiator, and they typically will ship with some weights. These are supposed to be 75 gram weights, and as best I can tell, I'm gonna need four of them. 75 grams is about two and two thirds of an ounce in freedom units. This is one of those nylock nuts that won't back out. That's handy. I have no idea what the weight of the nut is, so I might be putting too much weight on this. If this isn't tight, those weights will rattle. <laughs> You'll hear them. Oh, it's gonna take a while. Should have used a power tool for this. There we go. That is the tuning that the design calls for. If I want to go lower, I have another 75 gram weight. After that, I'll have to scramble to find some weights because that's the only one I've got now. Let's install it and see how it sounds. Okay, so it's doing what I want it to do. It's not terribly loud and it can hit those low notes. But did you notice a weird sound? You can really hear it at higher excursion. It almost sounds like paper flapping in the wind. That's an air leak. There's an air leak somewhere in this box. Let's take a look at it and see if we can find the problem. <laughs> 